What up everybody? Listen, this is one of those tiring days where you work all day and then your kids have activities all night and homework and you gotta feed them. And listen, I'm still out, it's almost 8 p.m. and I've been going since 6 a.m. My wife's been doing the same thing. Kelsey had volleyball games, J2 and Camden, they got football practice. There's all these things going on and I just came to realization that, man, we have all these activities but I haven't really spent time like investing in them. Not just them, but even my marriage because me and Kanika are running past each other just to get everything done. And so I wanna encourage you, hey, we're all going through it, but make sure that you're intentional, like I'm about to be intentional tonight, making sure I pray over each one of them before I put them in the bed, but I still put them in bed on time because me and my wife still need time to invest in to one another as well. So I'm with you. I just wanna know, want you to know I'm with you and that it's busy, but we still gotta invest the right thing. So let's do it together, let's go. Both of my sons playing football. I'm a football guy, and I know maybe sometimes parents are a little bit afraid of it, but really for me, it's about teaching my sons to push past fear. Football is a very unnatural game. I mean, you run full speed into another person, and that's what they want you to do. That's crazy. But I'm teaching my sons, even if they feel the fear, that they still need to go in spite of the fear. And because the spirit of fear is not something that was given to us by God. So in other words, they need to realize where that's coming from, but they need to know how to push past natural feelings. You may have natural feelings of anxiety and fear and I can't do this or I'm not gonna be good at that. But the only way you can accomplish your calling is if you go in spite of your feelings. So even if they feel the fear, they're supposed to make their heart follow what's true and that is they can do it. And so can you because Christ has already done it. And so we have to ignore how we feel and go based on what is actually true. And that's what I'm teaching them using this game of football. Gotta find a once again wolf. Thank you for the wolf. Burrito! Burrito! Let's dig in. This is more gutter. More gutter? This tastes what? Fabulous. Say that again. Does winter feast? Does. Oh, that's a question. I messed up. On ones like this, you probably have to read it out loud because your voice will naturally let you know if it's a question or a statement, you know? Erase that completely. Upstairs. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Ah. <laughs> Heavenly Father, bless Camden and Kyler and Jade. Keep them safe. Help them to. Love God, love their families, take care of their responsibilities. Help Kyler to grow up to be a mighty woman of God. Help Camden to grow up to be a mighty man of God. Help Jay grow up to be a mighty woman of God. Help them to depart Again. from evil. Camden, Camden, praying. Help them to depart from evil and do good. We give you the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. You're going to be a great woman of God, do you understand? Yes. You're going to be a very blessed woman of God. You're gonna do his will. Mm -hmm. Dear Jesus, thank you for day two. Thank you for letting him have a good day today. Help him to um, obey a teacher, to be a good listener at school and be a leader. Help him have an awesome day tomorrow, in Jesus' name, amen. Dear Jesus, thank you for Kelsey. Thank you for the day she had today. Thank you for letting her play in her volleyball game and have a good time with her friends at school. Or if his have a good night's sleep, help her cough to be better, help her to have a fun day tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, we got the kids in bed. Finally, what time is it? 9.35. They're bedtime is supposed to be, what time? 8.30. Yeah. We missed it. We missed it. We had sports today. So sometimes it ends up that way, but they're in bed. And now it's it's time. Kind of. I mean, kind of. But she's easy. It's important for us to invest in our kids, but it's also important to invest in each other. Because what was the book we read? It said, if you, the best way to raise your children is to work on your marriage. Mm -hmm. 
That's what we gotta do. It. Let's go. And give your kids security to know yep. that their parents are working on their marriage. Do it. Let's go.